Flesh? Hando. Oh my god, you are a fairy! <laughs> she, she moves around with fairy dust and her voice has changed. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. Now, if you've been watching any of this series, you know that Kevin has gone on a lot of adventures. Right? He's been a ghost, a cop, a ghost cop, a vampire, a vampire hunter, leader of the free world, a thief, a pirate, a superhero, a doctor, and probably a hundred other things that I can't remember. What? Emma, on the other hand, you know, she's been the stable one in the relationship, we'll say. You know, she goes to the same job, she has a regular income, she comes home, stays with the kids, that kind of thing. And enough is enough, you know, Emma wants to go on her own adventures, so today, she's gonna become a fairy. A couple of days ago, on a regular family trip to the park, Emma dug up a scroll that says, Legend has it that this tree was watered by a fairy queen's tears, and is now protected by fairies who will curse or bless any trespasser. Plead to the tree, and a fairy ye can be. Now I know normally Kevin is the kind to fall into adventure, he doesn't really go seeking it out, but like any little girl, Emma has always wanted to be a fairy. So you know what? She found the scroll, she's gonna be a fairy, we need to find this tree. The scroll wasn't really specific on where to look, so that might take a while. I know we technically have this magic tree in our backyard, but I feel like there has to be more than one magic tree, right? This is the mystical magic bean portal tree. We could explore that. Maybe it'll have some clues as to where the fairy tree is. You know, a distant cousin, a relative of any sort. Just be careful, Emma. I'm pretty sure the last time somebody went into this thing, they came out of Plant Sim, and we're not going for Plant Sim this episode. We really need to get around to hounding Kevin to uproot this thing. Right, it's taken up a whole lot of space in the backyard. Probably not the safest. To have a giant magic bean tree in your backyard, Emma stepped into the portal expecting darkness, but was instead greeted by a bright sunny pasture filled with all kinds of flora. A tree stood off to one side, glowing and bearing fruit and closing its giant tree vagina. Emma plucked a fruit from the tree and yada yada yada, we got one of the magic beans that turn you into a plant sim. Okay, so that was fruitless. Listen, I know it looks a little bit strange wandering around neighborhoods in the middle of the night looking for a magic tree, but we do know of one other magic tree, right? This one leads to the Sylvan Glade, and if I was a magic fairy tree, I'd probably grow in a place called the Sylvan Glade, right? Um, you don't seem to be open for business right now. Is there something I need to do to make that happen? Hocus pocus open sesame? Maybe? No? There's vampires out and about, so I feel like we're in the right area. <laughs> I don't remember how this thing works. Can you only visit the Sylvan- Ooh, wait a minute. That looks like the outline of an entrance right there. We can water it now, okay. Luckily, we keep a full watering can in our back pocket. Emma's got a, a whole lot of junk in the trunk. Literally and figuratively. How do you like that, Mrs. Tree? We're just gonna lube you up before we crawl on in. Need a little bit more. We're making full-blown puddles out here. So if you could just let us in, that'd be great. Okay, we can discuss nature. Go larga Let's NASA. discuss nature it's with the day. tree. Children. Yeah, I, I just really want to be a Good fairy. Day. Is that natural? Three I think we made the tree flirty. Red. Oh, oh. Did it work? Is that an entrance? That is an entrance. <laughs> you see, first you need to lube the tree up, then you need to get it in the mood, then you can go and crawl on in. Travel to the Sylvan Glade. That's right, Emma already knows the way. So we should be okay. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. This, this won't take long. Good luck. Totally forgot how eerily ominous this place is. I mean, it's 4 a.m. and there's still sunshine, so... I would imagine if the sun doesn't know what's up, maybe fairies do? Is this the magic fairy tree? No, that's the tree that we came in through. Didn't recognize you. Okay. So there's a whole bunch more trees to choose from. I guess we'll just look around. Emma, something tells me you're not gonna find fairies in there. Probably more likely to find bugs or an eggplant frog. 
Yeah, sure, we'll we'll take home an eggplant frog. That's not what we came for at all. <laughs> There's so many trees here, but you can't interact with any of them. Some of them just appear and disappear, but that's not magic, I don't think. Well, we've been hanging out here for a while, and other than catching a whole lot of nothing from the lake, we've also found a whole lot of nothing on land. <laughs> There are no trees, there are no fairies, there's nothing out of the ordinary except for all of time and space ceasing to exist inside of this weird tree portal, but this isn't what we came for. Is there another magic tree that I am not thinking of? Is there a third magic tree that we can crawl in? I, I just, I don't know. Do you, I don't suppose you would know where we could find a giant fairy tree, right? <laughs> Not trying to be presumptuous, but you are technically a fairy, even if you are a sex fairy. So maybe you've been to the tree once or twice? Did you get anything, Emma? She got the trash fruits. I'm gonna assume that means she didn't get much help. Okay, so I guess sex fairies aren't welcome at this tree. Where else? We could try Sixum. But I can't imagine a tree would be growing on Sixum that fairies would like, because the aliens aren't all that nice to other races. We could try the Forgotten Grotto, but that's underground. That wouldn't make any sense. Technically, you have work in an hour, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're tired of being the responsible one, okay? We're going on an adventure, we're gonna crawl through this tree, and go underground to become a fairy. Believe me, it's gonna work! Technically, this is the park where Emma dug up the scroll, so maybe I shouldn't really be trying to make sense of a magical fairy tree. Maybe it can grow underground, or maybe we're gonna crawl into a deep, dark abyss. Oh no, wait, we refurbished this place, didn't we? I think it's like a party area now. Okay, so we did refurbish the place. I wasn't losing my mind. But that definitely looks like some kind of big magic MacGuffin tree to me. We can contemplate the tree or we can lead the fairies. Okay, let's contemplate it first. Just figure out what we're getting into here. Maybe being a fairy isn't it's all cracked up to be. I don't see any fairies. This tree is so beautiful. Yeah, you know what? I think Emma wants to follow through with this. I'm not really liking the fact that it's a tree growing underground, covered by alien stuff. And it definitely wasn't here the last time we were here. <laughs> well, we're just gonna go for it. Come on, Emma. Lead to become a fairy. Please, I've always wanted to become a fairy. Oh, she's laughing maniacally. Oh, dear. Ooh. What? Emma's sauce has just turned into a majestic fairy. She now has a beautiful pair of wings and intense talent in the mischief skill and some magical abilities. And pointy ears. Flesh, Hando. Oh my god, you are a fairy. <laughs> she, she moves around with fairy dust and her voice has changed. What on earth? Okay, can you do anything interesting? Oh, you can do fairy things, okay. You can fly? What the- whoa! Woo! You can fly! I mean, I really shouldn't be surprised. You have a pair of wings, so you should be able to fly, but I mean... <laughs> the Kiyu has wings, she doesn't fly. Maybe she spent too much time lying on them? Is that a cheap shot at Kiyu? Okay, we need to see what else you can do. You have so many fairy abilities. You can cast auras, you can change the color of your wings. Okay, let's have pink wings. Yeah, I feel like that suits Emma the most. Very. Yeah, very nice. You are all about the finger guns and fairy dust. And it's made her very playful. Okay. So, what do auras do? Aura of idiocy. Aura of body and mind, creativity, discomfort, soothing, and dispel all near auras. Hmm. That seems like the kind of thing that we should try on other people. I'm pretty sure she has the option to fly around, but with the sassy walk like that, followed by fairy dust, I mean, I, I can really understand why you would choose that. Oh! No, I think she changed her mind. Okay, you know what? 
<laughs> Sassy walk, flying, I can appreciate both. So how about we test our aura on Grim here, right? And uh, Annabelle? Seems like a pretty decent test subject to me. So we are going to cast the aura of creativity. Let's make everybody, whoa. Whoa! What did that do? I should have tried that on a sim that I can control. I didn't want to do it on a family member because you don't use family members as test subjects. But it looks like it just made everybody very, very creative. And Emma looks like uh, she's not doing too well. Emma, you all right? A little dazed? Did that take a lot out of you? Out of magic energy. Wow, that spell sure was strong, huh? I'm starting to feel dizzy. No more magic for a little while. Oh, I see. So you can't just be spamming your magic, right? And, uh, oh, you might have gotten some kind of fairy disease. That's not good. You see, Emma, this is what happens when you go and jump into any old tree you don't even know, where you need to wear protection. Well, it took about six hours, but Emma finally has her magic powers back, and whatever weird disease she contracted seems to have passed. I guess fairies are good for tree promiscuity. <laughs> but there's nobody left in the park! So maybe we can go somewhere else and try another aura? I really want to see what it's going to do to people. Might be a little bit too late for the park, but it's definitely early for Club Awesome. I want to try using an aura in a huge crowd, and there's always a huge crowd on the dance floor here. And I've also invited Kevin, because let's be honest, if anybody should be a test subject, it's Kevin. <laughs> so we're just, we're just going to show off our flying to Kevin, and then we're going to drop an aura and see what exactly it does to him. <laughs> Even with the whole fairy thing aside, it is nice. <laughs> to see them out doing things together, even if it's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay, you know what? I feel like there are a whole lot of people here. Technically, the DJ is emitting an aura, isn't she? She just made everybody flirty. But I get the feeling it's not going to be nearly as powerful as a fairy aura of discomfort? Yeah, we can go with discomfort and then we can try soothing afterward, right? Hopefully fix everybody up. Oh wait, would that be a mistake? Because technically you won't have the energy. Oh boy. She just dropped a discomfort bomb. How did that go? How do you feel, Kevin? Kevin feels fine. Did it not do anything? People seem all right. Emma's dazed, she definitely used it. Hmm, weird. Yep, the only thing uncomfortable in here is Kevin dancing without shoes on. <laughs> Very strange. So, Emma, can you get your energy back? I want to try a different aura. I'm pretty sure, yeah, she could do recharging meditation. So maybe we should try that. I know it's not exactly the quietest place to meditate over in Arcade Corner, but hopefully it'll do. You look like you're completely out of it, so that, oh. The eyes uncrossed there for a second. We might be making progress. I don't know. I've never been a fairy. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. We're feeling energized. All right, very energized. So hopefully we can go drop another aura on the group. <laughs> Let's just go to the middle of the dance floor and try... God, I don't know. Discomfort didn't work, so I would imagine comfort or soothing or whatever the other one is probably won't work either. Maybe we could try body and mind? I believe that was one? Yeah, body and mind. Or idiocy? Uh, I don't really want to risk idiocy. There's enough stupid in here with Kevin. Yeah, body and mind, that'll do. How is this gonna go? Oh. Okay, ooh. Cool. Oh yeah, fairies definitely know how to kick off a party. Everybody is flirty now, I think. Oh no, Kevin is very focused. Body and mind is causing incredible focus. A fairy has cast an aura and Kevin feels stronger and his mind is totally clear. It's not entirely difficult for Kevin. 
<laughs> he won't have any problems improving his mental and physical abilities for a while. Cool, okay, so is he just gonna improve his dancing here with Nikki? All right. It's interesting that the auras don't affect Emma, just the people around her. She still has some energy in the tank, so how about we try an aura of soothing while we're at it? Everyone can be incredibly focused and very soothed, and Emma can be bored. Why are you bored, Emma? Where's the fun? Ugh, I'm bored. Isn't there any human who satisfies me with the right reaction to my pranks? Right. Fairies are pranksters. They need to be screwing with people. Emma's not screwing with people. She's making everybody, well, really happy. <laughs> there isn't even any music playing from the DJ anymore, and nobody cares. It's hard for Emma to want to prank people. Even if she is a fairy, she's just too much of a sweetheart, especially Kevin. Right, poor, innocent Kevin. Maybe like pulling magic on a dog, right? Of course they're not gonna get it. Okay, we, we were blowing kisses. Oh, right, okay, yeah, th that lady has to go get hers. We have ours right here. <laughs> I don't know what I expected when I was making people flirty and the DJ was making people flirty and you know, it's only fair. I'm sure Emma has gotten to live out a whole bunch of kinky fantasies. Ghost Kevin, Vampire Kevin, you name it. Kevin should have his chance at a fairy. I mean, you can have all the pyrotechnics and hearts and steam that you want, but at the end of the day, it doesn't bode well that Emma's still bored. <laughs> yup, still bored. Thanks for trying, Kevin. <laughs> And, oh, yeah, yeah, big yawn after that. Well, Kevin's gone home. Is there anything else fairy related that we could do? I mean, we could go screw with people, but it's like I said, it's just not something that Emma really does. We can try, all right? Emma's gonna do her best to be mischievous. Hit the Denton mom with the most fairy mischief you have, Emma. <laughs> right. Fairy farts, engage. <laughs> There we go, okay, she's feeling flirty. I wouldn't think that farting on the Denton mom would get you going, but sure, why not? Oh, Emma has work in an hour. Do we wanna take another day off? Ooh, I should totally do a fairy cop episode. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode of the life of Kevin, guys. And I gotta say, the fairy mod is awesome. Like every time I get one of these huge, all-encompassing mods, I'm just blown away by what people can make. And now I'm realizing next episode, we're gonna have to figure out how to turn Emma back, right? Like, Kevin was a ghost, he was a vampire. Emma will have been a fairy, but she's not gonna be a fairy forever, and I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. <laughs> there wasn't an option on the tree, so that might be a job for Officer Emma, fairy detective. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.